Hey, it's Mark at Magnetic, and I am doing a quick video for you following on from a Russia and Ukraine crisis video discussion that I had. And what I'm going to be showing you in this video is how to figure out if a crisis could impact your business. And what I'll do is I'll break down the steps into three stages so that you can learn how to anticipate and how to maneuver through an entrepreneurial roller coaster without falling off. So firstly, why is it important to, um, to be able to do this? Well, a crisis can break a good business. As we've seen, what happened in the coronavirus lockdowns and restrictions where there were thriving businesses and all of a sudden their whole industry has been turned upside down. There were really, really good business that we were working with who were really growing tremendously and all of a sudden they came to a grinding halt. So at the time of recording this, it was Russia and Ukraine that was the hot topic, but tomorrow who knows what it could be. And the question is, how can you anticipate the impact on your business when a crisis does pop up? And why would you even want to? Well, the simple answer is reaction time. Just like a split second of better reaction time could mean the difference between life and death in a car accident, better reaction time and being able to anticipate what will happen to your business in the case of a crisis could mean the difference between the life and death of your business. So that's why you really want to be able to understand how to do this. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. Now, on the flip side of having better reaction time, the other thing that could happen if you are fast enough and you are able to pivot and you are creative enough is that when a crisis takes place, there is the potential to actually open up new growth avenues. So as they say, never let a good crisis go to waste. My point is during a crisis, you don't just have to be the victim. You don't just have to take what comes at you, get punched in the face, get knocked down, get knocked out. You can be proactive and you can turn a crisis into your advantage. Look, I'm telling you this because your business needs to stay alive. You've got clients who need your services. You've got staff who have livelihoods, who have mortgages, who have kids, and you have your own life. And I'm sure you don't want a crisis to knock you out when you could have prepared and you could have planned and you could have anticipated and turned that crisis to your advantage rather than falling a victim. So what I'm going to show you is the three stages to identify a crisis and how it could impact your business. I'll do a quick summary here and comment below. If you want me to go into more detail, let me know and look out for some of our other videos that can explain the stages further. I'll do it if you guys really want it and if you comment and if you ask for it. So stage one, the first thing you've got to do is to perform a global macro assessment. What does that mean? Well, you need to be able to assess the greater world and the greater outlook. Look at the very, very big picture. This has nothing to do with your industry yet. This has nothing to do with your business yet. And what you want to do is scope out all the major changes that you think is going to happen based on the crisis on at the moment. So um, things like what's going to happen to uh, global currency, global interest rates, global supply chain. For example, in the Russia and Ukraine situation, like I said, how will it affect currencies? Is it going to drive up oil prices? To what extent will it stop trade in any way? Will there be impacts on banks? Will there be impact on funding, travel? You want to take a look at what it's going to do in the wider economy, the wider world. Stage number two. So what you're going to do now is perform what I call an industry analysis. What's that? Well, based on your global macro assessment of what's going on around the world, you're now going to look at what is the effect of the stage one findings uh, going to be doing to your industry. For example, how will increased oil prices affect the industry that you're in? Will it cause shortages or supply chain breakdowns? Um, we all know that during COVID, uh, border closures have affected certain industries immensely. Uh, but could you tell that it was going to happen? Could you anticipate what it was going to do to your industry? Because while some industries practically shut down overnight and some suffered immensely in a short period of time. Some other industries actually boomed because of what was happening. Or there were some companies whose industry was in trouble, but because of a pivot, they were able to continue growing their business. 
The big thing that you're looking for is the risks and opportunities to your industry based on what is going on around the globe. Stage three. So now based on your findings of stage one and stage two, what you'll do is you review the potential impact now of what is happening around the world, what's happening in your industry, and how will that specifically impact your business? What will happen to the prices for your goods or services? Is your product or service still going to be viable? Are you able to sell it? Are you able to deliver it? Will it be more needed? Will it be less needed? And if you could make a pivot, then what do you need to change to help you grow regardless of what is happening in your industry? Or do you need to get out? Do you need to start something new? Those are the things that you will be able to anticipate ahead of time rather than waiting till it smacks you in the face and then you have to deal with it. So just a couple more ideas. Um, will your customers be going broke? Will they be owing you money and um, leaving you with debt and leaving you in a position where you can't pay your expenses and your suppliers, your employees? Um, will your suppliers be able to continue providing you with things like key inputs or inventories or resources that you need to be able to do your job? Um, what are the people impacts on your business? Will they be able to move around? Will they be able to do their job? Look, there's a whole bunch of things that you need to look at for your industry. And what I'm doing here is just giving you the structure and giving you the ideas and the start so that you can sit down and have a look and you have some guidelines of what to do if a crisis crops up where you think it has the potential to actually impact your industry. If it's not Russia or Ukraine, uh, it might be China, it might be Taiwan, it might be USA. Um, but by performing the three-stage analysis, what you do is you give yourself a buffer when it comes to gaining more reaction time and you are able to pre-plan how you're going to respond and what you're going to do about a crisis when it first comes out. Look, the world is not going to run out of these crises. Whatever's going on now, it's not going to be the first time. It's not going to be the last time. And you need to know what to be able to do to respond. In order to have unlimited growth, you need to be able to think ahead of time and you need to be able to visualize multiple scenarios as to what could potentially happen and the potential options that you could take to respond rather than think that nothing is ever going to change and nothing's going to get in your way and you're just going to stay on the track that you're on. Uh, we've seen 2020 change a whole lot of things for a whole lot of people and people's lives have been turned upside down for a huge number of people, right? A huge number of the population. Not everyone, but quite a fair few people. My friends, I hope that this has helped you think of a crisis a little bit differently and I hope that you can see both the risk and the potential opportunities. And I hope that future situations won't impact your business badly, but give you a chance to grow instead. And um, look, like I said, for more details on each stage, if I get enough interest, if I get enough comments, then please watch out for our videos and we will dive in a little bit deeper. And if you don't wanna miss out on the videos, join our mailing list and make sure you subscribe so you never miss our updates. Uh, thank you very much. Until next time, I will see you later. Stay safe. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.